it's uh, the biggest moot in the country, um, not only in international law, but generally. I don't think there's any other moot which has got as many as 60 teams participating. It's, it's, it's Specifically, um, the problem expects you to argue in the context of the ICC statute. However, in our oral argumentation, that's sometimes in insufficient. So, what a lot of judges, especially in the semi-final and final round, they expect you to know the broad contours of international law. And I think linking that back to the statute and the facts at hand was something that was a unique skill that we'd, we'd managed to learn by the finals, I think. So, there were certain parts of the problem that we found hard. and. Um, so, some things are hard from the prosecution and some things were hard from the defense side. So I think it, the moat itself was a question of balancing the issues themselves and playing to your strengths finally. So for instance the charge on uh, conscripting children for instance was something that was extremely prosecution heavy and the charge on destruction of cultural property was something extremely defense heavy. So um, it's about prioritizing arguments and making sure that this, your strengths are something that you communicate well to your judges and you show your knowledge of the area of law itself to them and make it evident that you do in fact know even in spots where you are in fact in a difficult position so to say. Um, given in today's time when um, IHL is usually neglected and not given due importance, however um, there's so many grave breaches of um, justice and so many serious crimes being committed in the world. So I think that it is important that we don't turn a blind eye towards um, IHL and give it the due regard it really needs. Being it's one of those uh, big league mode for competition, so there's a lot of research that goes into a lot of preparations. So I think it's a good incentive for any team that comes up and participates here, not only for the prestige that this competition holds, but also the subject area that they deal with. I'm practicing in court also, in the Sazari court. But I come here every year for this court practices because I am interested about international law and we want that everybody should know about international law. I'm mooting for the first time so this is really like, <laughs> interesting for us and uh, regarding preparations we had, we were really fortunate because there have been past seniors you know, who had uh, attempted this so we got some really good uh, mentorship even though, even though there were some you know, constraints of time but at least we're here now, we got here, we got to submit our memorials. A lot of people don't even realize that there's something apart from human rights laws that deals with just specific war crimes or something related to humanitarian aid. So I think um, this is the time that you need to have awareness. In the fact that law students themselves do not really know that there's a separate area of law dealing with this, I think that's something to be uh, thought about.